Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today, I got this package. Uh, unfortunately, it's not yet my self birthday present because that one seems to be a little late, but it is a nice package that I received from Apple Boom with stuff for review. As I said, unfortunately, it's not a present, just stuff for loan, but it will be very nice because it will allow me to have some more material for future videos and that's the important thing. So today I brought this Victor Knox knife, that's very good to open packages and let's do this unboxing. So, today this is a very big box, it doesn't fit all in the frame but Let's do it anyway. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I know of about one or two items that are inside, but not all of them. So Yost sent me some stuff for review. <laughs> First, maybe someday I should make a review of the Stroopwafel. Always a very nice gift if we like to, to eat uh, candies or cookies. Um, these Apple Boom notebooks and packaging protective material. And let's take out, let's take the stuff out. So one box, and I know what that is. That one is a Lamy pen another box and another box. So I think this is all and the rest is just this stuff, very noisy stuff. Let me take this out of the way. And let's see what we have here. I will zoom in just a little bit so we can get closer to the items I have here. Okay, this is the content of the box. And as I told you, there is one of these special storyboards that uh, are sold by, at least that Joost sends as a gift. I didn't try one yet, so I need to do that. The Stroop waffles, the mini Stroop waffles, which are very nice. And then we have three packages. One of them is this one that I know, I really know what is inside. And so let me open it and show it to you. So they come, they all come very nicely packaged. It's nice, but there was really no need because these are just items for review. Now take the package away and here we have let me see if you can have a preview of, of what is inside I'm not sure if you can understand what it is I don't think so by that label so let's open this way open the two flaps and take these out carefully because they will be sent back once they are reviewed and let's open the box and what we have here is a Lamy dialogue the new version in white this is the Lamy dialogue I think it's called CC if not wrong with a package of of cartridges and that little piece and here we have the pen that will twist to open and what which nib do we have here i think it is abroad mm, i'm not easily seeing that yes broad nib so I think this 
pen will be reviewed with an ink from the Inkvent calendar that I'm that I bought from Apple Boom and that I'm reviewing. So I think this pen, this Lamy Dialog, will be a very nice candidate for using one of those inks. And that's because I don't have many broad or double broad nibs and this will be a nice nice one to also to add some variety because today is the 10th and there are still lots of inks to do I thought I could be ahead of time but <laughs> I'm not so I think this will be useful here you have I will just not put any shimmering ink inside because it is very hard to clean and I don't think it makes sense to send back a pen with the remains of shimmer there but I will use it for some plain ink so you can see here the comparison of the two pens this new one is much shorter and it has more of an organic shape but it is the same same diameter different length so one of the ideas behind getting this pen for review was also to be able to make the comparison with this Lamy Dialog 3 that was sent by Apple Boom for review also so this one will also be sent back maybe I'll send them all together after being reviewed and compared so this one will be also it will be reviewed and will be in a versus video against the, the other one now let's go for this one the smaller the smaller package and let's take a look at what is inside and okay it's out oh, okay I remember now it is I'm, I'm <laughs> I am getting old and I forget stuff. I know what this is. This is the new, oops, the new Lamy. How is it called? Okay, it doesn't have the name here and I don't remember. It is the Ideos. I think it's Ideos. Ideos. I'm not sure how to say that. But it is that pen which has the triangular shape. I don't even think it's on this booklet it's because it is a new release I think it is Ideos Ideos? yeah okay forget about it sorry about this I, I remember that I wanted to review this pen but I really forgot about what is in, what was inside and so sorry for this stupid moment but this pen is kind of a triangular shape and I really wanted this pen because I thought it would be fine, fine, uh, fun to have this pen reviewed and then first reviewed because it is a new release. It is a strange pen. It has kind of a teardrop shape and the clip is on the side, not on this part. So it's kind of strange and I really wanted to compare it with the Studio or the Ion. It really reminds me of the studio, but the nib is the same nib as the ion with that kind of shape. It is an extra fine nib, so very different. And I don't know how to remove the section, so I will need to to find that out because it may have something here to release it. Not sure, so I will not force the okay like this. It has like kind of a bayonet system and it makes sense to make sure everything gets aligned so this is an interesting pen really is and i th find it comfortable so i think this will be an interesting review because this is really interesting it's something a little different from lamy and it is really lamy-esque if you allow me this name because it, it has a really different design from everything I've seen so far and 
sometimes it's, it's not that easy to innovate with fountain pens because fountain pens have been around for so many years that sometimes I wonder what else to be invented. And now let's go for the final pen. Let's open the package. So we have lots of stuff. This one will be reviewed. That one will be reviewed. So I'm off camera. Let me bring them to the frame. So the Lamy Dialogue CC will be reviewed. This one will also be reviewed. And I will compare these with some other pens. If you have any idea, any extra idea of comparisons, please let me know. Maybe I can compare it with the Dialogue 3, the, the Platinum Kuridas, the... Let me know which, which comparisons you think would be nice. I also think this will be an interesting comparison with the, the Ion and maybe the Studio, because I would say it goes on the same range. And it will be fun to, to make that. I have to confess that I'm not really a fan of the studio. I bought the studio, I don't love it. And here we have a pelican. Let me close the knife. A pelican pen and... Yes. This is the Golden Burial. The new the Pelican M200 from from 2021. They have always those special editions and this is a, a very nice one. So, lots of fun. Golden Berry. Ah, and this one comes with the ink. So, this one will be a nice one. Whoa. Whoa, even the... <laughs> this, is, this is fun. I have only one M200. And the M200 I have, and I don't think I have it around. Let me just check. Yes, I do. So, I have this one. This is an M200 with an anthracite uh, transparent color, and it is a fine nib, I believe. Too broad for my preference. This one is fun because it is white on the top. And even the, the piston is white instead of black as the other one. So this, is, this will be a fun one to review and to use with the new ink. So this one also gets me quite excited because at one time I thought it would be interesting to collect the, the, M, the, the M200. It seems lighter. This plastic seems much different, even the sound. I, I know you can't understand that on the, with the sound on the on microphone, but I feel they are a little different. So I'm quite excited. At one point I thought oh, it could be fun to collect all the, M, all the M200, but the M200 are a little expensive. So it may not make that much sense, but I find this, I find this really, sorry, I was off camera. I'm really excited with this one. It, it is full of shiny particles, which is kind of wise, because if you are going to put an ink that has some shimmer, inside one pen, a piston filler, it can be very hard to to clean and so if any particles remain there <laughs> the pen already has some, sh some shimmer to it. Let me try to see if the shimmer is all rested on the other face. Yes, here you can see the shimmer and now I think it's moving. Sorry, let me just have it here for a moment.
Well, sorry, but I'm having a little fun. Just watching the, the ink and all the shimmer getting in suspension again. This looks like a very heavy and big shimmering particles and it goes down very easily because you saw I, I had it upside down and now all the shimmer is here again. So I think this one will be <laughs> is very heavy and will fall again. You can see it. It gets deposited on there very soon. So this will be a fun one. This should be a very interesting ink. So I'm really excited with this. These Edelstein bottles are very nice. And in a way, I'm kind of sad that I can't keep this one because I think this will be fun. This Edelstein box, uh, bottle seems a little smaller, but I'm not 100% sure if it's smaller than the other. It is 50 milliliters, so maybe I think it's the same size. But this one will be fun. This one will be so fun to review. So, three pens. I think in two very different ranges. This one has a more serious range, is more a professional pen and it's kind of a very nice gift to give someone and more expensive. Then we have this is kind of a designer and user pen that it's not an entry level pen because it's marked here at 115 euros. So it's not inexpensive but you have that classy design thing. And I think that may be an interesting thing. And then you have this one. This is highly collectible because there, there are so many finishes of these pens. And <laughs> this one really looks fun. It's so strange. For me, it doesn't even look like a Pelican M200 because... I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not... I don't... I don't know. It's just fun. So, I'm very happy for being able to receive this stuff for review. Again, thank you so much, Yoast, for sending me these, these pens for review. This collaboration with Apple Boom has been amazing to me because thanks to them, I can review pens that would be out of my reach if I had to buy them. And also because uh, some of the pens that I review don't really, don't really attract me, let me take this out of the way, that much to keep them. So some pens I could buy, like the M200, but there are other pens that I have as a possibility to review that I don't, that I wouldn't keep for myself and they would be very expensive. So, this is a great opportunity. Thank you, Yoast, for sending me this. Thank you, Apple Boom. It is a lot of fun to have this stuff for you. So, this is all I had to show you. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave links below for the for the for these pens at Apple Boom store. Also, the discount code. And please let me know which kind of videos or comparisons you think it would be fun for me to do before I send those bags, those back, because I think it may be fun to have some some work around these pens. I I think so. I so I will leave there some options and also links for the pens on those options if they are available. So this is all I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed these as much as I did. And always amazing to receive pens on the mail. So, see you next video. Bye!